All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to find the averages of some fractions. Here's one example. We're going to do at least two more after this. And it works the same way as finding the average of, say, two integers. For example, if we take uh, 4 plus 6, the average of 4 and 6 is going to be 5 because if you take 4 plus 6, you get 10. Divide by 2, you get 5. Well, the same concept's going to apply to fractions as well. You want to add them together and you want to divide by how many fractions you have. Just like here, I divided by 2 because I was adding two numbers. Now, you know, you don't always divide by 2. You divide by how many numbers you're adding together. So keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this pencil and paper. But before we do that, let's just look at it on the calculator too. So let's say 2 thirds. And let's add to that. Whoops, I need to take away that plus from the bottom. Uh, plus 3 fifths. And then we get, okay, so 1 and 4 fifteenths. I'm just going to convert that to a... Uh, improper fraction. So we got the sum of those two fractions is 19 over 15. Let's divide that by two because we're adding two fractions. And this is going to be our average of these two fractions, 19 over 30. How in the heck do we get that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So let's take the two thirds and let's add to it the three fifths. Now I'm just going to do it in the vertical setup because we need to get common denominators in order to add these two fractions together. A common denominator, you can pick 15, you can pick 30, 45. Just find a number that 3 will multiply into and that 5 will multiply into. And the first one is going to be 15. 15 is going to be your least common multiple, which is going to be your least common denominator. So 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 5 is 10. That's a equivalent fraction to this here. Uh, 5 times 3 is 15, so 3 times 3 gives us 9. So let's add those two fractions together now that we have common denominators. So therefore, the sum of our fractions is going to be 19 over 15. And if you recall, if I can scroll back up through this, that's exactly what we got right here. Um, once I added those fractions and converted it to an improper fraction, I got 19 over 15. Now you want to divide this by 2. Well, really, when you divide something by 2, you're taking half of it. Anytime you divide something by two, you're taking half of it. So why am I saying that? Well, we can take this thing right here to divide it by two. We really can multiply by half. We can really just take half of that number. And multiplying by half is the same thing as dividing by two. Always, 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 always. So multiply by half and we'll have our answer. 19 times 1, we don't need common denominators here when we multiply fractions, so 19 times 1 is 19, and 15 times 2 is 30. Um, that's the average of those two fractions. As you can see, we did that exact same thing right over uh, here when we divided by 2, 19 over 30. So that's how you find the average of two fractions. Let's do an example where we find the average of, say, three fractions, all right? So I'm just going to slide this stuff over. That's example 1, and... Let's do three fractions. So how about uh, one sixth? Let's do five fourths. And what do we want to do? Um, two thirds. So I'm throwing a two thirds back in there again. But really, we want to add these three uh, three fractions together. So. Uh, common denominator, you know, you don't have to do the vertical setup. I'm just going to do the horizontal setup here. Uh, so what do we need here? If we add these three things together, a common denominator, the best one would be to pick is 12 or the smallest one to pick. Now you could pick 24 because six will multiply into 24, four multiplies into 24 and three does as well. But 12 is going to be the least common multiple because that's going to be the first number that all three of these denominators will multiply into. So I want to use 12. I'm just going to put my little pluses in between there. And let's just change each numerator. So this first fraction, 6 times 2 gives you 12. So multiply the numerator by 2. 1 times 2 gives you 2. 4 times 3 gives you 12. So multiplying 5 by 3, we get 15. And then 3 times 4 is 12. So 2 times 4 gives us 8. Here are our <coughs> equivalent fractions to these up here. But now we can add those together. So... Uh, two, 8 plus 2, that gives me 10. 10 plus 15, we have 25 over 12. And now, we don't want to divide by 2. We want to divide by 3. But here's good news. When you divide something by 3, you take a third of it. 
I hope you're kind of seeing the pattern here. When we divided something by two, you're really taking half of that number. And it's good to, to understand that because especially when you're dealing with fractions, it's just a quick way, a quick multiplication problem to figure out this average. So we have three numbers. We want to, we sum them up. We divide by three, which is the same thing as taking a third. So we can take 25 over 12 and multiply by one third. And this will give us our average. So 25 times one is 25. 12 times three, we have what, uh, 36. So that's going to be the average of those three fractions. And to uh, show you that, I'll just come over here and work out that problem. So just clearing my calculator, we have one sixth plus five fourths. This works with improper fractions, obviously too, because that was an improper fraction, plus two thirds. And the sum of these, okay, so 2 and a 12, that's going to be 25 over 12. If we convert that to improper fraction, we do have 25 over 12. So that's our sum. And now we're adding up three fractions. So to find the average of three fractions, we divide by three. And notice we have 25 over 36, which matches our example there. And now finally, uh, one more example here. What we're going to do now is maybe get an average that is not going to be uh, proper fraction. Let's because notice both of these we have a smaller number over a bigger number, smaller number over a bigger number. So let's look at one where maybe we don't get a smaller over a bigger, where our average is going to be improper fraction. Totally fine for that to happen, but for that to happen, I'm just going to use three improper fractions. Oh, let's do four. Let's do four fractions. So suppose we had seven over four. Um, let's do seven over five. Let's get a little bit adventurous here. Why not? So seven fifths plus. I'm going to go ahead and put my pluses in between them. Let's do six over five plus, okay, I'm just going to do everything over five. Let's do nine over five and 11 over five. And the reason why I'm just doing them all over five to save us time from having to go back and find the common denominators, I got plenty of videos on finding common denominators as well. Plus I did cover that in the first two examples. So let's go ahead and just add up all these fractions. We got four fractions here. So nine and 11, that's going to be 20. Uh, 26, if you add six to that, plus seven, that's 33, right? So 33, and this is going to be over five. Now to find the average of this, so the average is going to be equal to, where well, we want to take it, this number and divide by four, which is the same thing as multiplying by a fourth. That's the moral of the story here. Uh, if you, if you want to find the average of two numbers, take half of it. The average of three numbers, take a third of it. The average of four numbers, take a fourth of it. But essentially, we still are really dividing by two or three or four. And this works for no matter how many fractions you have. You just multiply by really one over how many fractions you have. So doing that here, uh, 33 times one is 33. And five times four is 20. So as you can see here, we do get an improper fraction for our average. And then something else too, um, I'm just going to do this very quickly. Seven divided by five, that's, that's the same thing as seven fifths. I'm just going to add it up like this. Plus six over five, plus nine over five. Order of operations will take care of all this. And, and then 11 over five. So adding up all those things, it's going to give us a decimal here. 6.6, .6, I can convert that to a fraction real quick. Uh, we have an improper fraction here. I'm just going to convert that to, or that's a mixed number. If I convert convert this to an improper fraction, 66 over 10. Uh, well, now it's not simplifying it because I probably don't have auto simp on. Yeah, I got man simp. So if I just cut and come and put this thing on auto simp. And now let's try that again. There we go. So uh, 66 over 10 is 33 over 5. I just want to show you our sum was right. And since we want to divide by 4, because we're trying to find the average of 4 numbers, 4 fractions, check out what we got. 1 and 13 twentieths. Let's convert that to a improper fraction. We got 33 over 20, which matches our answer. And there you have it, you know, three examples of finding averages of fractions. And the big picture here is this. If you have two fractions, take half of that sum. Three fractions, take a third. Four fractions, take a fourth. And that pattern does continue on no matter how many fractions you have. So there you have it, three examples of finding averages of fractions. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.